niggas holding on to the book of the dead, like, that's some legit shit. That's why they spiritually dead. The book of the dead, that's the best book for them. Right. Yeah. said the book of the dead? The Valley of Dry Bones, Ezekiel, uh, 37? 37. Or 38. Dead bones, bro. Yeah. Um, more. Yeah. Seven twenty-seven says, "When he shall see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory." Oh, see, when you see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with the with the great glory, that's what we've been talking about them chariots, and that's how the Lord's gonna make us return, and that's how we know the Lord. We know for a fact. Well, we don't even need to see the chariots to know He's real. The Most High is obvious that He's real, but them chariots, boy, that put the icing on the cake right there. Go ahead. It says. Uh, when you see these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your eyes, it's like your heads, for your redemption draweth not. Yeah, so how many of y'all is like, you know, looking up, looking for them chariots? At nighttime, when you got a clear sky, look up at the sky, you're going to see them chariots flying around. Man, you pull up, like when you're driving, you pull up next to a car, you look over, it'd be four or five people in the car, yeah. and they all looking down at their cell phone, man. No, nobody look up, everybody right. look down. Even in the daytime, you look up, they spraying chemtrails on your ass. <laughs> Yeah, ropes break. <laughs> ropes break. break. Yeah, but man, you supposed to be looking up. And you know these people don't even know the stars or nothing. You should actually even study the stars. Hey, leave the city and then look up. Hey, Jake knew the stars. You're going back to the slavery days. Oh yeah. How did how did we all know the stories? He taught us the stories. Well, I'm talking about Judah though. And during the slavery, how did they get to the north? They knew the stars. You, I mean, the North Star is not hard to find. It's the, if y'all want to find the North Star, it's the, uh, it's, the, it's the corner of the Big Dipper, the very tip of the Big Dipper. I'll tell you something. The boat shit, I think it was like Jaffet. Oh, Jack, what Jack, well, the Canaanites was the expert ship sellers. Jaffet too. Oh, yeah, you're talking about down in the Pacific Islands. Yeah. They, yeah. they use the stars. So it's good to know the stars, you know, because the script, even the book of Genesis says to use the, the, the stars and everything and in the heavens for signs. See, that's Genesis 114, use it for signs and for seasons. But you're going to look at them stars and you're going to see them chariots. You're going to you're gonna see when them stars start moving. You're like, damn, is that a star moving and am I tripping? And then it just start putting on the show for you, zip zag, zig, zigzagging through the sky. That's one of them chariots. Woo! Chariots, boy. Look up. Your redemption, bro. That's what we wait for. Man, we when we see them, man, we're going to be like, oh, finally. Man, we're going to faint, man, from happening. From, from being, you know, I can't even start to explain it, man. We're just going to be like, damn. Yeah, it's going to be terrifying what they do to everybody else. It's going to be a giant weight when we get to the fall. We're probably going to have spiritual power before then, anyway. Talk about a giant weight. Yeah, they might. We're going to be changing. Like the scripture, they're going to change it. We're gonna be reprogrammed and everything. We're gonna be changed. Oh, this that flesh and blood can't enter the kingdom of heaven. Luke, Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Oh, man, the powers of heaven should be so... Hey, man, this shit's going to be crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. Like the scripture I read earlier, this is a curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. A curse? This shit is a curse? Man. And we can take the chariots, too, all the way back to Mount Sinai. That's when it all, uh, when the Lord yeah. gave us the law. What you got? Can you imagine the sound of lasers when they're going to shoot, man? Them lasers. Hey, it said they're going to blow the trumpet. When them chariots come out of the sky... Uh, it tells you that uh, in the Exodus, it says, came down with the sound of the trumpet. And they tried, they tried to explain that in that movie, uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Where how the spaceship kept making all the different noises. Yeah, because Steven Spielberg was trying to uh, show you what the trumpet sounded like in his mind, you know. That's a badass movie. That's a good movie. But he got it straight out of the Bible. He even said he got it from the Bible. Dreyfus. Yeah, Richard. Yeah, that was that dude back in the day. Well, I forgot about your boy Dreyfus. That was your boy. He was in a lot of big blockbusters back then. He was, too. Um, 
for the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory Ooh, yeah, that power and great glory that's oh, a wait a minute. Just read this. hey that's the spirit that? You just read that one part. Yeah. Okay. Hey, the spirit wanted to come out again. The whole thing to come out. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Okay. What's up, my man? Yeah, them chariots, man. That's all it is. That's all it is right there. Hey, that's why that song, Go Back to Swing Low, Sweet Cherry, that was like the main song that the slaves sang, too, wasn't it? They, they was focusing on them chariots. They was meditating on them chariots. They were singing on the song. Yeah, you see it right. Just think back then, they had no light pollution. Like in the city, you can't see shit half the time at night. Plus, they, they, they even spray chemtrails at nighttime now, you know? So sometimes you can't see nothing. Just constantly spraying. Yeah, they don't want you looking up there. Because that shit got to be down by the time rush hour comes. Gotta be, people gotta be out breathing in by the time rush hour comes. So Not rush hour, but morning hours. I was about to say, so excited to get up and go to work. It make you crazy, don't it? Right. I heard the shit make you crazy. I know it's fucking the world. Hey, there's a purpose for it. Yeah. I know that sometimes on a day of heavy spraying, everybody's acting like assholes. I know it ain't no the tree asthma. <laughs> shit. I know that. should have give you some <laughs> asthma. Right. You ever heard of thunderstorm asthma? Right. There are thunderstorms that are popping off and people are having asthma attacks. Really? Yeah. Probably something to do with the electromagnetic field from the electricity. Uh, thunderstorm, I forgot what it's called. There's actually a name for it, though. But it's thunderstorm asthma. It starts with thunderstorm and rain and shit. You are actually having asthma attacks. I can see that, how that can work, though. Yeah. I got it on my tablet, man. I got my tablet. Yeah, it is. I'm saving all this. I see some jackass. I was talking to somebody. He said, uh, he said Trump ordered him to stop the chemtrails. Oh, God. Oh, man. But these people are actually, they in La La Land like Trump is their guy. They think Trump's fighting the New World Order. It's like, where, what the fuck? He's making America great again. He's fighting the reptilians too. Riding the shores of America. Finally made it. They really think Trump is some kind of savior. Oh, shit. Like, Alex Jones ain't letting go of that shit. He done put all his chips on the table, so now he gotta stay with Trump. <laughs> hey, what's the scripture to say? Even though he's the king and the leader and everything, hey, the blind lead the blind. All y'all fall in the ditch. I mean, the most high, at the end of the day, the most high set Trump up. So really, he was ordained by the most high. That's who the most high had chosen, to, you know, to be the ruler. So we, are we happy with his choice and his selection? I'd like to shake that man's hand. Hey, bro. I'd like to shake his hand. How you doing, Trump? You making shit happen, though, man. <laughs> For real. You know yeah, that's, like, that's the first thing I'll tell him, too. Yeah, you making shit happen. You making shit happen. <laughs> Just like that. I ain't lying, Trump, man. You the man. <laughs> Start crying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get an autograph. <laughs> Let me get a picture. Get a picture with the whole family. <laughs> You know how you bust oh, out? Shit. For real. You get a picture with my man. kids. For real, man. He is really making shit happen, man. And he making everybody hate each other. Yeah, yeah. He bringing so much division. That's good, though. Actually, the Lord bringing division, though. Making everybody hate America, too. The allies, the European yeah. Union. They've been hating yeah. America. Now they yeah. hate us even more. Even more. They hate this country. This man is actually causing a serious trade war, man. And don't and ain't even thinking about the repercussions. The, the re, you know what I'm saying? They ain't even thinking about it, man. Put a tax on aluminum and copper. <laughs> aluminum and steel. Yeah, oh yeah, steel. Yeah, oh. Action copper too, all that shit, man. All of them. They just mentioned the main two main ones. You know? You can't, the two main ones. You go They're slapping. Talking about, Cause like Bush tried the same thing during the Bush administration. They hit America with tariffs too. That's what started World War II with Japan. <laughs> Remember they, they was doing that Japan with the high taxes and they was putting all them, uh, them tariffs on the oil. Damn. I mean, when, when you do when you hit all these countries with all these uh, extra bills and everything, hey, when you start fucking with someone's money, that's when it, that's, that's when everything coming down to the money. You know, fights start over money. People get shot over money. Yeah, wars. Yeah, wars start over money. <laughs> oh man, this is. Well, women. <laughs> the bat. The battle. Huh? Talking about dinner. Shit. That's your girl. She looks like she keep a tarot deck right in her purse. She gonna bust it out. <laughs>
See, he got some demons on him. Was, they jumping off of it. go Mr. Rogers. <laughs> or not by Mr. Rogers. That's a, uh, what's, his, what's that dude's name off of Sesame Street? Guy Smiley. Demons on it, man. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I thought I knew he was getting into something. It's the uh, Exodus 19. Uh, yeah. Ooh, it's it's kind of long, actually. Start 16. It came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightning. Oh, hold up real quick, just for the camera. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Now we read in the book of Exodus, the 19th chapter. If y'all don't know, Exodus 20th chapter is when uh, Israel gets the Ten Commandments from the Most High. And they up on Mount Sinai. But this is the chapter right before the Ten Commandments. So I just, you know, give a little, pre a little preface. Right now, no motherfuckers got us to talk to. Right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't want to talk to us, that's good, though. They don't, don't talk to us, no. I don't want to talk to them. Right, right. So, I'd rather talk to them. This is an example of which they got coming. This time, the Most High, he ain't going to let off. This time, the Most High is not going to let off his ankle. He going, well, he going to break forth on these fools. Well, I had the scripture say he going to break forth upon them. I think it said that in this Go ahead. It says, in a, in a thick cloud, it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings. Thick, thick cloud. Thick clouds. Upon the mount, and the voice of the trumpet is seeking loud. Oh, well, there's the voice of that trumpet. Well, you should have started a little up. You know what I mean? Going to before that. Oh, yeah, because it does give you more understanding. Right, right. That's a long chapter. Oh, these niggas, which is the same motherfuckers then, these people are ignorant, they're hard headed, and they don't, they don't want to listen, man. They don't want to listen. Because everybody think they know the Ten Commandments. They can't even name all ten. They think they know the Ten Commandments, but they don't know about that chariot. And that, yeah, that's all they know. That that's not kill. They didn't, they didn't know that should not commit adultery. They didn't read that one. Because they just got finished Even the Sabbath. You got, you got to keep the Sabbath holy. That's one of the Ten Commandments. They ain't keeping, they ain't keeping none of the commandments. All right, go ahead with that. Exodus 19 and 9. Yahweh said unto Moses, Lo, I will come unto thee in a thick cloud. Oh, he said, I will come to thee in a thick cloud. UFO. Yeah, they ain't talking like about. UFO. Yeah, he's not a meteorologist. <laughs> it says, That the people may hear when I speak with thee and believe thee forever. And Moses told the words of the people unto Yahweh. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Go unto the people. Sanctify them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes and be ready against the third day. The third day, Yahweh will come down in the sight of all the people upon Mount Sinai. Right, this is right before, like I said, it's right before you get, they about to get the law. So Ezra had to purify themselves. They had to get make sure they was all clean. It says, And thou shalt, shalt set bounds unto the people round about, saying, Take heed to these, to that, to, like, to yourselves, that you go not unto the into the mount or touch the uh the border of it whosoever touches the mount shall surely be put to death then shall it's like a there shall not in hand touch it but he shall surely be stoned or shot through or short through or shot through neither uh whether it be beast or man it shall not live so even if an animal came up near the mountain they was getting killed anybody got Anybody but Moses got anywhere near that mountain, they was getting put to death. He said they stoned him. He said they stoned him. shot through. shot him. light. Yeah, he could do that. Or they could... Like, uh, who was that that was a... Uh, Fianus. Was that who was it? They found an Israelite having sex with a heathen. Was it Fianus? Judah's son, I think? And he, and he stabbed him with the spear right through both of them and killed them both right on the spot. Great. Think is, I think that's who it was. This is in the book of Numbers. And he got shot too, you know? And then it says, uh, 
And Moses went down from the mountain to the people and sanctified the people and they washed their clothes and said to the people, Be ready against the third day, come not at the, the watch. And it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and lit the cloud upon the mountain. So there's thunder and lightnings and thick clouds. And notice what he said. Israel had to get clean. They weren't allowed to have sex either. Shows you who was Oh, yeah, that's true, because, yeah, I'm clean. This is the most high himself about to make an appearance. So he's making sure, you know, Israel's on point. Go ahead. And read that part of Thunders and uh, Cloud or whatever. It said, It came to pass on the, third, on the third day in the morning that there were thunderings and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mouth, mount, and the voice of the trumpet sitting loud so that all the people that was in its camp trembled. <laughs> Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God, and they stood at the neither part of the mount. And Mount Sinai was all together on a smoke, because Yahweh descended upon it in fire. So, so the whole mountain was a smoking because the Most High descended upon Mount Sinai, and he descend. What does descend mean? That means to come down. So, you can just see it in your brain. He's coming down, landing on top of the mountain, and it's all fiery because that's says he's landing his chariot on top of a mountain. I mean, what else is that talking about? It's not talking about an actual cloud in the sky. That's dumb. And that mountain is actually darker than all the other surrounding mountains, too. Like it was burnt and one fucking time. Oh, yeah, it got burnt, yeah, right. from the fire. And it said uh, all the children of Israel were, what is it, it's terrified? They trembled, the children of Israel, they would tremble. Can you imagine that? They were terrified. Can you imagine it, man? Because the mountain was shaking, man. Mount Sinai is a big motherfucker. People yeah. be dying going up in that bitch, man. <laughs> Shit. Did he probably the dark the rocks are still black to this fucking day. That's crazy. Yep, rock, everything black, burnt. <laughs> you get it is more today, man. It says See that's the scripture the church ain't never gonna read that scripture. Even those guys who claim to know the uh Bible, like uh Zachariah Sitchin and uh uh David Icke and what's some other ones? Uh what's they, that? They didn't even know what's in there. Eric von Daniken and all that yeah they they all they read is Ezekiel one. They might know a couple. They don't they never. Know for it, they didn't even they, for I've never heard no ancient alien guy read Exodus nineteen. No, no. That's because to tell you that they're all parrots. They just repeating some. So it's a it's a it's a con to them. It's a con game. They they learn a couple scriptures. They can make some money off of sell a couple books. They don't know the scriptures. Well, we're, we're the real experts. We know these scriptures. I, well, I could I could we could bust out UFO scriptures till we blew in the face. And still not get them all. Go ahead. He says, The smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace. And the whole, uh, whole mountain was great. Damn. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded loud and waxed Whew. louder and louder, Moses back and God answered him by a voice. And Yahweh came down upon Mount Sinai and on the top of the mountain. So the, he came down on top of the mountain. Go ahead. And Yahweh called Moses up to the, the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. And Yahweh said to Moses, Go down, charge the people, at least they break through into Yahweh to gaze, and many of them perish. And many of them perish, yeah, because they want to. That's the point. You might as well keep going to the next chapter. He says, He says, uh, like, and Let the priest also, which come unto. Uh, Near to Yahweh sanctify themselves, and Yahweh break forth upon them. And Moses said unto Yahweh, The people, oh shit, the people cannot come up into Mount Sinai, for thou charged us, saying, Set vows against the mount and sanctify them. And Yahweh said unto him, Away, get thee down, and thou shalt come up, thou and Aaron with thee. But let the priests and the people break through to come up unto Yahweh, and he said, Break forth from, uh, upon them. And the most I can break forth on them. So I mean, they got anywhere close to that mountain, he's going to kill them. You know, they probably just died from the heat. You think about it, you got, you know, the mountain was on fire. Well, Israel scared as hell. They wasn't no way coming nowhere near that mountain. <laughs> That's the only time Israel listened, boy. And the most high is right there in front of them. Oh, they're going to listen in. Too much noise and that Yeah, you get more terror. They say Israel trembled. They tell you that in the next chapter. You might as well keep going. Says, so Moses went down unto the people and spake unto them. And God spake all these words, saying, I am Yahweh thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. In the same way we left out of Egypt, 
Buy cherries. Yeah, buy cherries. Lead no way. So they already knew what the chariots were when they seen it. So they, they just let them through the water. Right. So they wouldn't like it was ignorant to the family. They knew. Oh, they knew. The Egyptians knew it was real because they witnessed it. <laughs> <laughs> and one part the, the, the chariots sat between the Egyptians and the Israelites at night. Yeah. It sat between them. That motherfucker had to be huge, man. Before they didn't attempt to go around it, man. That must have been, been, been miles long, man. And they killed their whole army. And Egypt wasn't doing nothing. They weren't doing shit after the Exodus. They didn't have an army. They didn't rise back up. <laughs> they didn't rise back up again. Why not? That's because the Bible is the truth. That's, That's why. Right. That's right. I mean, it, it makes sense when you look at the history, though. Yeah. Right, right, right around the time the Exodus happened. That's when Egypt wasn't shit no more. You had all them great dynasties of, you know, the Ramses and. Oh, that was way later. That, that, that was the Edomites that took over. Yeah, because you got a lot of retards. They think uh, Cleopatra was a black They think she's a black woman. <laughs> they don't understand that the Macedonians conquered Greece under Alexander. They really never rose against that great power. Oh, hell no. Hey, the closest they got was the Ptolemies. And they weren't even real Egyptians. Tell you, Esau got an infatuation with heathens, though. But you know, Alexander worshipped all those different heathen gods. Wherever Alexander, whatever city he conquered, he went and worshipped their gods and sacrificed them. You know that? Like, he went to Egypt, he was praying to Amun Ra. When he went to, uh, when he went to Persia, he, he was, uh, he was following their customs, you know? That's what Esau does today. And that's why they love Alexander. Dumbass Israelite like that. God after he made, after he was throwing all Edomites off of, as a sport off of bread, off of mountains and shit. He, what was his name, man? He going to worship their gods after. I can't remember his name. That one, Azahar. Azahar. He's throwing them off the mountain. Later on, he started worshiping their fucking same gods. Take stupid. That's dumb as fuck. Um, well, Solomon, look at King Solomon. King Solomon talked to the Most High in a dream and. The Most High appeared before Solomon. Then he appeared before him on the mercy seat. And Solomon still went worship all them other gods. That tells you how powerful Israel must have been, though. And in the same time, though, the Most High would turn. Like, you could see a chariot, talk to an angel, everything. The Most High could still hit, your, hit your, that switch like a light switch. And just turn you into a straight reprobate, just like that. Lord Paul saw three times. He asked, he asked Samuel, what, what does this mean? You know what I'm saying? He said, hey, it's the most high talking to mm. And I saw it was actually righteous at first. He actually listens to him. And then he, he started fearing the people because the people were saying, kill, uh, save the king or whatever. But you people just kill all of them. And he listened to the people and said, most high. Yep, so then then Samuel had to come and kill the king's damn self. King David took the king. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's the Lord in control of all that, man. He, he's the one who makes makes you right. He's the one that makes you uh, wake up to the truth. The Most High Himself. Did not uh, Peter say that? Was that Matthew 16? The uh, Yahweh Shai said, uh, "Y'all, you about to get it?" No, I got another one. Yeah, it's cold, man. I'm frozen. I'm done. King David. Psalms 130 said, "What's that last time?" He said, uh, 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 "Forgiveness is with you." So that you may be feared. Because that's free, that's some scary ass shit. Like if the Lord wants you, then he gets you. If you don't want you, <laughs> you don't want you. you like and really, it makes it more scary is that you don't even know if you're really, you don't really know if you're like, you, know, you might have confidence, but you, you really don't know. You really don't know. That's scary as hell. Hell yeah, it's scary. I'm gonna just read this real quick. We go hope and faith that we believe we are. We are faithful. Let me get this quick preset real quick. Matthew uh, 16 and uh, 13. When Yahweh Shine came to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some, uh, Elijah, right? Oh, that's true, right? That is reincarnation. I didn't think about that. That proves reincarnation. Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elijah, others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets, meaning 
the Israelites had that. They knew people come back in reincarnation. That's why they were saying that. That was part of their customs. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Mashiach, the son of the living God. And Yahawashai answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Ooh, are they fighting? Are they fighting? Let me get him on camera. All right, if Coda Buster blocked me out. Oh, they just playing. No world star hip hop for us. Uh, oh shit. Damn, got cold out of this motherfucker. Damn, why is it so fucking cold? Uh, we waiting on that fire, baby. Whew. I remember just watching this movie, that's a loose ass. I was, you ever seen that movie Spun with Mickey Ward? He's like, ain't nothing worse than a bitch with a loose ass. That's my boom. Yeah. It's a movie about meth heads. Oh, it's a good movie.